1974, this was the third of three plays that were directed by Andre Sherban, composed by Elizabeth Suedos, produced by Ellen Stewart at here, at La Mama. The three plays were called Fragments of a Trilogy. They were three Greek plays. The first was Medea, that was performed from the ancient Latin, ancient Greek of Seneca and Sophocles. The second was Electra, and that was performed and sung in ancient Greek. Trojan Women was the third of the trilogy. The company and the director and the composer were interested in exploring a universal language that was different from any language that existed. Liz Suedos went to ancient languages. She found passages in Navajo, in Swahili, in Nahuatl. Every sound to Liz is music. And if you commit yourself to the possibility that everything is music, then you commit yourself to the possibility that every sound you make has meaning. And I think when Andre developed the work and, and asked the company to search for movements that had some kind of open, universal meaning, something that could be understood by anyone, anywhere. This was also really important to Ellen Stewart because that's what La Mama is about. Since 1975, we have traveled to more than 30 countries. And then we asked the question, what would it be like to bring the Trojan women to places where the experience of conflict was very fresh or possibly even unresolved? And not just to show the show to the audience, but what if we gave the show, gave the music, gave the movements, gave the staging? What would that be like? After 2,500 years, the story of the Trojan women, of what happens to women, of what happens to women and children in war, of what happens to women with men who take power, those struggles, those stories are still going on. And then we asked another question, where could we bring it? The Civil War in Guatemala went on for 30 years. It was on paper over in the early 90s, but um, if in reality, it's not quite over. We found indigenous theater companies, particularly women's theater companies, where they are very concerned with telling their own stories as women, as Mayan women. They were searching for a way to network with other Mayan Guatemalan theater groups, groups that speak a different language than them. We worked with women originally who speak Kakchikel, but they wanted to reach out to women who speak another Mayan dialect and another Mayan dialect. This gave them the opportunity to network with other women and bring them to us, and it gave us the opportunity to meet these other women and to understand and know and share what they do, it, it was really quite extraordinary. Because it, it is not in any one language and because the events that happen in the piece involve the audience, they don't watch them, they often participate in them, it doesn't seem to belong to any one culture. And yet there's room for many people to bring their own cultural experience into it. The Mayan women immediately could identify what happened to the Trojan women with what happened to them and continues to happen to them. The piece resonates. It just has room for people's stories. And that's why we're going to continue to do it. So we're off to Cambodia. We developed a partnership with Amrita Performing Arts, which is a contemporary dance company in Cambodia that is doing a search of their own to bring traditional Cambodian movement into the modern world and find their own contemporary forms. And isn't that the perfect place for us to be partnering in Cambodia with the Trojan women? The entire piece rests on what happens in the last few moments of the show. There is a moment when all the women of Troy are chained and have been recaptured by the Greek soldiers. 
and all the women turn towards the men, and each holds out her hands. What is happening in that moment? What does the future hold? Is there hope? Will we continue this cycle of violence and war? We think of our American company as multi-generational. Now we have this international generation, and then someday we're going to see all the generations together coming over the hill singing Troya.